Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you, I've had my fair share of babysitters. But one thing I will say is that this one specific babysitter, I think was doing the most illegal thing that any babysitter could do. But before we get into the story, please make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. And on top of that, I know many times I've said that I would have a girl sitting behind me for one of the story times, but sadly I can't find a girl that wants to be behind me during a story time, or just in general being on camera. Don't get me wrong, I have a ton of girls coming to my place all the time, but none of them are willing to to just sit behind the camera and just sit there. I I'm not joking. The conversations I've had was the most weirdest thing ever, but we'll find one eventually. But as we're finding one, if this video hits over 2,000 likes, I will shave my beard for the next video. That way, there's actually something looking forward to. And on top of that, I'm not gonna lie to you, I, I love my beard and I don't wanna lose it. But if we get 2,000 likes on this video, I will shave it. Other than that, let's just jump straight into this insane story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to a really intense story. So today's story takes place back when I was 10 years old. And when I was 10 years old, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't like other kids. Yes, I was, you know, goofing around and, you know, basically not having any responsibilities and just only caring about video games like most kids. But one thing I really did not care about was girls. And when I was 10 years old, for some reason, a lot of my friends were into girls, but I just wasn't. I didn't really care about girls at the time. I only cared about Pokemon, Call of Duty, you know, the more important things in life. But then I remember one time when I was in my school, I was sitting down in my classroom just playing with some blocks I guess or just writing something down I'm not really sure but I remember one time when I was sitting down in class in my elementary school I was reading diary of a wimpy kid and my friend came up to me now this friend that came up to me was actually two years older than me but he was held back and ended up being in the same grade as me because well I guess he was just dumb I, I don't know I guess he's just stupid naturally and he ended up coming up to me saying are you playing the new game this weekend that's coming out uh yeah duh is what I told him and afterwards we ended up making a plan for him to actually come over and play video games games with me. Now, this was nothing new. Him coming over and playing video games with me was actually something that was really cool. And also, since he was older, a lot of kids in my grade actually kind of thought he was cool. I don't know why, because now I realize that he was really stupid, but I don't know. I was a kid. Everything seemed cool back then. Anyways, I remember we basically made a plan for the next day for him to come over and basically have a sleepover with me over the weekend. And his parents were cool with it. And I remember I ended up texting my parents on my iPod and they were also cool with it. Yes, I had an iPod when I was in elementary school, okay? I wasn't rich. It's just my parents wanted me to have some form of communication with them. And also it was an iPod, not a phone, okay? We're not gonna talk about it, but going on with the story. I remember that same day on the way home when my dad picked me up from school, I ended up telling him about the plan of my friend coming over. He was totally cool with it and he did not mind it, but then he also mentioned to me that, oh, Bubba, just a reminder, I'm gonna be going to America this weekend and I'm going to be uh going for a work trip, so I won't be here. And so will your mother will also be coming with me. Wait, if you or mom are not home, then who's gonna take care of me? Oh, don't worry we'll have a babysitter for you. Now, when he said babysitter, I won't lie to you. Like in the beginning of this video, I've had my fair share of babysitters. And even though people think babysitters are fun, let's just say all the babysitters that I've had had different sorts of fun. And I'm talking about the devil's tango. You know, it wasn't no Nanny McPhee or, you know, Mary Poppins fun, like I wish it was. But I guess this was a different taste of things, I guess. But anyways, what ended up going on next was, well, let's just say very concerning. Because I remember when we got home, I was basically going up to my parents, basically basically complaining to them saying, why are we getting a babysitter? You know what? The friend that's coming over is older. He could take care of me, but my parents wouldn't budge. They were both very persistent and really wanted me to make sure that I had a babysitter. So me being upset, I ended up going up to my room, really upset and angry and ended up going there and just sitting and playing Call of Duty. When I was sitting in my room playing Call of Duty with my headphones on, I remember I ended up hearing the doorbell ring and instead of going downstairs to see who it was, I ended up basically sitting like on the top of the staircase, just waiting to see who it was. And I remember when my mom opened the door, we ended up seeing the babysitter. Now, this babysitter was actually like some basic 16 year old girl. She was very nice and very simple. She had like, you know, brunette hair, I guess, or brown hair. I don't really remember to be honest, because it was so long ago. But one thing I will say is that she was very young and still in high school. And I remember me when I looked at her, the first thing I thought was why in the world is this woman taking care of me? Now, you guys are probably wondering like, oh, like, weren't you attracted to her and stuff? And no, I wasn't. To be honest, I wasn't in the mood or never have been actually, you know, bricked up before back then, because if you guys didn't not know the first time I actually got bricked up in my entire life was well in my middle school dance and me I was still in elementary school at this time but going on with the story I remember basically from there my parents ended up interviewing her and stuff and she got hired on the spot and the reason for that is because my parents were literally leaving the next day so it makes sense I'm not gonna lie and then one thing led to another she ended up coming up to my room introducing herself to me and I just ended up basically like saying 
hey, like, what's going on? Me acting like the cool kid I was and kept playing Call of Duty. Not even looking at her, nothing, because I could care less. And let's just say what ended up happening the next day was extremely illegal. Because I remember the next day, I ended up going to school, and right after school, me and my buddy ended up coming over straight back to my place for, you know, all the fun we were going to have this weekend. And when I entered my house, I remember my buddy looks at me saying, yo, bro, where are your parents? Oh, my parents aren't here. A babysitter's going to be here any minute now. Wait, you have a babysitter? Bro, she's going to ruin all the fun. I know, man. That's what I said, but don't worry about it. Like, I don't think she'll be in the way. Little did I know, she was going to be in the way. Because I remember five minutes after we got home, the babysitter ended up ringing the doorbell and I answered it. When I answered it, she ended up saying hello to me and I didn't care. I just straight up ignored her and ended up going up to my room with my friend and ended up playing video games. But as I was upstairs playing with my friend, I remember my friend looked at me saying, yo, bro, where's the babysitter? Is she here? Yeah, she's just downstairs making me a sandwich or something. I don't know, doing some woman stuff, I guess, in the kitchen. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty based as a kid. I'm not gonna cap with you. But going on, I remember my friend ended up saying, oh, wait, a sandwich? Let's go downstairs. I want a sandwich. I was joking about the sandwich, but clearly he didn't get that joke. And we ended up basically going downstairs to see the babysitter. When we went downstairs, I remember we saw the babysitter in the kitchen just sitting on the counter on her phone. And when we went down the stairs, I remember I ended up basically walking down there saying, yo, what's going on? To the babysitter. And my friend ended up looking at her with his jaw dropped and basically, I don't know, I guess amazed. I'm not going to lie. The last time I had his facial expression of going, I was looking at, you know, Grand Theft Auto's club that's in the game. Uh, can I even say the strip word? I, I don't know. Going on, though, I remember basically he was basically aroused and amazed by this babysitter. And me, I could care less. And I remember one thing led to another. I basically told her to get up and make me a sandwich. And she ended up making me a sandwich. And as we were just sitting down eating our sandwiches, I remember my friend that was two years older than me told me, yo, bro, be nice to the babysitter, man. Like, she's kind of hot. What, what do you mean she's hot? She's just a girl, bro, is what I said afterwards. But then he ended up saying nah dude like you got a hot babysitter bro like i'm not gonna lie like damn me i ended up just basically ignoring him and really couldn't care less about what he said and i ended up basically taking my sandwich upstairs and went back to playing call of duty as for my buddy well he didn't come up with me he ended up actually staying downstairs and talking to the babysitter the whole time now i'm not gonna lie after five minutes i could care less about my friend but after 10 minutes i was actually kind of concerned on why wasn't he coming upstairs wasn't he already bored about the girl like wasn't she boring already she must have been boring him or maybe torturing him or something. At least that's what I thought when I was a kid. I remember I ended up going downstairs and going to the kitchen. And when I went to the kitchen, instead of walking in, I decided to basically hide behind the counter and basically started listening into their conversation. When I was listening, I remember my friend was talking about something with like cherries and stuff and basically how he's never seen a pair of cherries. And me, in my mind, I was thinking, why would he want to see that? Like my mom has a pair and it's not even that good. That That's really weird. I don't, I don't know why I just said that, but mom, if you're watching this video, I apologize. I love you. You have beautiful. Never mind. Okay. Oh my god, it's so awkward. Okay, going on though. I remember from there, I ended up basically sitting there really weirded out and my face was just disgusted. I didn't know what to think or what to say. But then afterwards, I remember the girl that was my babysitter ended up saying, oh, like, would you like to see? Hell yeah, I would, is what my friend said. And from there, I remember I ended up looking up over the counter to see what was going on. And this girl ended up basically taking off her shirt and her, you know, cover up underwear thingy, bra, I guess we could say. And uh, yeah, basically my friend ended up looking at a pear cherry that was really weird and also i mean i also got to see it not gonna lie but it was uh i i, I was really uncomfortable because i don't think i was supposed to see it even though i was seeing it but then he was supposed to see it but he was 12 and she was 16 you know it was a whole sorts of illegal i remember from there though i ended up standing up saying what are you doing and uh yeah my friend ended up running up to me saying bro like what are you doing she's a hot babysitter showing her cherries bro why, why are you complaining i don't care about the cherries but my parents are gonna care and then and that's when the babysitter ended up walking up to us saying, wait, what do you mean your parents are going to care? Your parents won't find out. Just don't tell them. I'm not going to tell them, but that will. And that's when I pointed at the security camera that was placed in my house to make sure I wasn't causing any havoc to the babysitter. Let's just say my parents ended up coming home a day early from the trip to America that time because I'm in Canada. And uh, yeah, my babysitter got fired and also a really harsh talking to. But hey, I mean, I guess I saw cherries that time, so I wasn't really complaining now, was I? Anyways, guys, that is basically it for today's story. Leave a like, subscribe, and like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.